everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and today we're going to be filming another review video. This time it's going to be on the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. I've already used this a bunch so I could give you like a good idea of what it does. So let me read the claims off to you. So it's supposed to be extreme plumping and lifting. I got mine in very black and I also got it in waterproof. I never usually have a problem with mascaras like smudging or rubbing on me. But mascaras never hold a curl for me. So when I see waterproof I usually get it even though it's usually a pain in the butt to take off. Um, it also says 50 times the volume and it gives you this really... Um, actually realistic picture. I don't think this was photoshopped too heavy. Uh, let's see if we can get there. So it gives you that picture of what they're supposed to look like before and after, which which looks pretty realistic, which is nice that they don't have someone with false lashes on the cover. Um, on the back it says double action brush plumps and lifts lashes. Plumping formula helps build volume and separation. Anyway, this retails for around $10.49, $10.50. You can always get it cheaper because it is a drugstore product and there's always coupons and buy one get one half off. All those kinds of things. So just look around. You could probably get it less than $10. Bucks. So here's what the packaging looks like. As with most CoverGirl mascaras, it's got that like standard chubby packaging. So as for the brush, um, when you first get it, they actually leave the brush outside of the mascara and you can see it in this window here. It's almost as big. Hold on. This brush is crazy large and when I first saw it, I was like, this is going to be such a disaster because how do you put this close to your eyeball? But let's have a close up look. So the bristles on this brush are kind of similar to benefit to their real mascara. The roll. So it's got a twisted shape and there's these like shelf like bristles along with the typical kind of spiky bristles. Also at the top they have what's supposed to be like a rounded ball tip which is what really reminds me of benefit to their real. Um, but this one isn't quite as well designed because all of the product just builds up on there and unless you really take the time to wipe it off it's almost kind of useless. Also there's no like separation between that little ball tip and the brush itself which is what makes Benefits their real so like usable because it has that separation so you're not literally like I don't know what it is but like it just makes it easier to use so this makes it a little more difficult. As for the formula, it's your typical, like, kind of thick mascara. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I'm going to take you through me putting this on, and then you can use your opinion, and I'll give you mine, as to what my lashes look like when they're done. I'm going to curl my lashes, just because you really won't be able to see my lashes unless they're curled. So For the things that I like about this, I like that it goes on super smooth. Um, I like that it, nice, it keeps your lashes nice and separated while adding some volume and some length. <clears throat> the, waterproof, the waterproof version is so good at holding a curl, it's ridiculous. And my lashes stay curled all day long. This doesn't sm smudge, doesn't spread, doesn't leave me with little bits crumbling around my face. But I did get the waterproof version, so I can't say for the regular version that it's going to do the same. But if you like waterproof mascaras, this is pretty stinking good. So the only things that I don't like is that the brush is so huge that it's impossible not to get it on your lash line. You always have to take a Q-tip and wipe it up. Um, but that doesn't bother me too much, especially if you have a full face of makeup and eyeliner on, you hardly can even tell that you made a boo-boo. Um, the other thing is, I don't think, like, the little ball tip is too well designed. I, you can kind of get some use out of it, but it'd be good if it was kind of separated from the brush. That way, like, you didn't feel like you were sticking the whole, like, giant mascara wand in your eyeball. So yeah, I would definitely say go buy it, go try it out, because um, I am a fan. Um, oh, also, do not try and use this on your lower lashes. It'll be a disaster, it'll get everywhere, and it's waterproof, so it's hard to get off. So that pretty much completes this video. I know it was quick. 
I hope this was like quick and to the point because I know I can ramble for hours. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more review videos, please give this one a big thumbs up because there's so much new stuff to try. I can like literally spend all my money in the drugstore and in Ulta. Well, anywhere I go because like in January all the new stuff comes out and it's just crazy. So yeah, um, what did I say? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye everyone.